booties, it's your girl at Christine, and today, Mother's Day is around the corner from the day that I'm filming this. Hopefully from the day that I post this. Let's see if I get my cards in a row. We'll see. Um, this is Sa- this is by Sapphire Sandalo, but the video is called Mother's Day Horror Story. <sighs> Animated scary story time, stories with Sapphire. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Um, let us see. <sighs> What the horror is of being a mother. Well, there are a lot of horrors of being a mother. (laughs) Link for this video is in the description box below. Let's see if this uh, scares me out of having another child. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's go. Welcome to Stories with Sapphire. I'm your Ate Sapphire. Mother's Day is right around the corner. A time to show appreciation for the women who raised us and Mm -hmm. shared photos of us proudly with everyone. But... What if there is a downside to all of this affection? This Mother's Day, there is. Vanessa is about to find out. There's and ups now, and downs. It's story time. Follower by Sapphire Sandalo and Adam Sinker. Vanessa adored her little baby girl, Carly. Yeah. She had so much Super fun cute. posting photos of her in cute themed outfits, Aww. one for every holiday and season. So cute. Her so, family oh, would Christmas. always comment on how photogenic Carly was mm-hmm. and that she could be a model. Mm. Those comments always made Vanessa chuckle. The thought of becoming one of those mommy influencers made her roll her eyes. Which oh, is why there's she kept her wrong profile that. private. Her followers Excuse were me. mostly her friends and family, with the occasional request from another account with mom or baby content that okay. she was happy to approve. That's good. One day, she needed to make a quick trip to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. She called up Renee, the teenager next door, as mm-hmm. usual, to come watch Carly while she was out. Okay. Vanessa set very strict rules with Renee to never post any videos or photos of Carly or from inside her house. Hold on. Vanessa can- if this If this story involves this girl, like, doing that-ish, she deserves to be kicked in the throat. Okay? Let's see. Kissed Carly on the head and went to the store. All right, let's see. As Vanessa rolled her cart down the aisle, she simultaneously scrolled through her timeline. Mm -hmm. She may not share her baby photos publicly, but she'd be lying if she said she didn't love looking at what other parents posted. Oh, yeah, of course. They always gave her inspiration for her own photo sessions. Mm -hmm. Then her phone buzzed. There was a notification that she was tagged in a photo. Okay. She opened the photo. Mm Mm-hmm and saw the exterior of her house. Mm. The number was in full view and the Mm -mm. address was tagged. Mm -mm. Vanessa immediately called Renee. Hi, Miss H, how's it going? Renee, I thought I made myself very clear. Mm. Why would you post a photo of my house? Please take it down right now. Mm. What photo? The photo of my house. I don't think it's Renee. I don't think it's Renee. I really don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it's Renee. I swear to God, if this is a prank. It's not Miss H, I promise. What was the name of the profile? Vanessa pulled oh, her phone away from she her face like... to look at the name. Mm-hmm. When she got another notification. Crap. What this is time, it? it was a photo taken from outside the living room window. Oh no. You could see Renee talking. On the phone. phone. No. Whoa. What the hell? I no. just got tagged too. Oh, they tagged her Renee, too. Get Carly and get out of the house immediately. No, call nine one one. I'm yeah, heading home right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Hold Vanessa- on, hold on, hold on. All right. First off, first off, call nine one one first. Right is what she should do. She should do. It's a little difficult in my situation, but anyways, uh, uh, she should call nine one one first. Right to alert them of the situation. Okay, um, make sure the doors are locked and. I wouldn't tell her to just leave or go outside because if there's like a van and a man or a couple of men out there, they will grab her and the baby. So I think you should definitely call the police first. Look out the windows. Make sure everything is locked. OK, I wouldn't just walk out the front door. That's definitely not a, especially if they taking pictures out there. They out there. OK, so abandoned her cart and ran to her car. Mm. Another notification. Call the police, too. She should call this the police. Time. It was at the back of Renee's head. What? Running up the stairs. No. Vanessa began to panic. 
No! She couldn't understand why or how anyone could do this. She arrived home and immediately called out for Renee, but no response. Oh no. She ran to the stairs and saw a river of blood. No, 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 no. On the staircase was Renee's cold, limp body. No. Vanessa held her breath and her tears as she ran past her and towards Carly's room. To find the baby, where's the baby? She opened the door. Carly was not in her crib. Oh no, 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 she no. She wasn't anywhere in the room. Oh my gosh. Vanessa fell to her knees. She'd never felt so helpless. I know, I life. know, baby, I know. That familiar buzz pierced through the silence. Oh dear. Hesitantly, Vanessa pulled up the photo. Okay. It was Carly. Cradled in a pair of hands what? with long, twisted fingers. Oh my goodness. Trembling, Vanessa frantically messaged them. Where is my daughter? Okay, yeah. Who what are, are you? Give her back. Why okay. are you doing this to me? Okay, let them answer. Let them answer. What they, they replied. Say? Because you made it so easy. How? I don't understand. Yeah, how did she make it easy? It's private. Oh, wow. There's no such thing as private on the internet. As Vanessa uh, responded, uh huh, they blocked her. No. Okay. Today's story featured Vanessa and Carly, the winners of the last cameo competition. Oh. If you'd like a chance. Oh my gosh, she scared the crap out of me. I thought this chick was about to tell me this was like a the, like. This was their story. I'm like, oh my goodness, is that the little girl? Instead of a baby, was she an actual little girl that was stolen? Thank God that's not the game. <laughs> I need a moment. I need a moment. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So at least we know A, Vanessa and Carly are A okay. All right. They won a contest. They won a contest. They was in a story. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. All right. Because I am. I was when she showed the picture. I instantly went like, Oh my goodness, the little girl's gone. But no, she's alive. She's good. Everything's great. All right. Everything's great. Um. Right. Hold on. Has to be featured on a future episode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's good. I thought. Okay. I just had to make sure. <sighs> Everything's good. Um, all right. I, I, obviously, this isn't a real life story, right? <laughs> but we gon' we gon' we gon' talk about it. All right. Um, with this, hold on, my wig's itching my head. I need to start wearing wig cap, wig caps again. I I stopped wearing it. I just have the wigs on my scalp, and that's why I'm scratching my head so much because the little thingies are okay. That's you didn't ask for any of that. All right. Um. Okay, Mama and and what's the name should have called the police. Okay, the, at, at the beginning, right? Um, the whole thing of oh, because you made it so easy, it didn't make sense. Her account was private. Um, it had like, and a lot of times, I because I know it was put in there for the story, but a lot of times when you have like an Instagram account and stuff like that, you can have your your. GPS turned off. So it's like, uh, uh, sir, if it's that easy for you to find me, then I can find you and get my baby back. So joke's on you, <laughs> mister. Um, or ma'am. I don't know. Can't assume anything. Just saw fingers. Uh, and if there, if it is an old person, they are a highly capable group of old people, right? For like, the, like you got to have a helper, all right? Also, are we going to talk about uh, 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 the, the, the little girl's mom, the, the teenage girl's mom, and how they... Uh, how they got her. I want to know how they got in. Like, how uh, did she not lock her doors? Some people be like that where they're not locking doors. They're not locking their bedroom doors. Uh, uh, poor baby girl uh, and her mom in that, in that situation. It, 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 this is definitely, when it comes to me, things that I, <laughs> that I think of. And I think a lot of parents do or a lot of moms do. Um, and a lot of dads. Like, uh, you have that mindset where you're thinking about okay what is gonna happen if abc happens what what's our one two three what are we gonna do uh you you you're paranoid or you're preca you're very cautious you think of precautions of ways to protect you know yourself and your family 
Uh, you want to make sure that everybody's going to be okay and everything's going to be okay, especially when it comes to your children. You don't want anything to happen to them. You don't want them to get hurt or taken. I will burn the world if my daughter was, God forbid, if anything, you know, but you know, the world will burn. It's, it's, that's just bottom line. It's how I feel. I'm sure a lot of parents feel the same way. I wish there was a way that we could have gotten her baby back. I know it's not a real story, but you can't just tell me that and then have that be the end. We have to get Carly back for her mother, okay? Have her mother become like um, it, like Peppermint, right? That movie Peppermint? Have the mama be like that woman, okay? We gotta, we gotta get Carly back. Carly's gotta come back, okay? <sighs> Happy Mother's Day mm, to all the mothers out there. Um, I hope your situation is nothing like the situation. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, if you are watching this and you're not a mother, but you have a mother, I hope that you celebrate your mother in a wonderful way so she can feel special for popping you out and dealing with you for as many years as, as your age is, okay? Because it's there's love when it comes to parent, but there's a lot of dealing and tolerating. So for the love, dealing, and tolerating, the caring to that degree, you know, get, show your mother some love, all right? And I know that there are particular cases, you know, like where your mom might not be your favorite, okay? Evaluate and, you know, you take that journey. It's not a journey that I can deem for you. That's your situation, right? I can't say you should love your mother even if she abused you. That's not my place and that's not something I would sh share or tell you to do. But... If you feel like your mom has done a great job or a good job or she's tried her hardest and you want to show her that she's special, do that. Write a card. You can do handmade cards. You can buy a card. You can get flowers. You can make paper flowers. There's so many things that you can do if it's something that you want to do. All right. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the story down below in the comment section. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support everyone involved in making it. If you like this video, hug the life out that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.